Good morning, everybody. We apologize for being a little late coming on. We are having some technical difficulties. Uh, technology is always fun to deal with. I'm hoping, because our Wi-Fi um, was not working for us this morning, that you are able to see and hear us right now. If I could get some thumbs up or some comments, I would help us know if, if this is going to work. Hi, Hannah and Mackenzie. I think this will be worth your wait. Um, if you saw our Nature Connection post this morning, you'll know that we are back in our vet clinic with our um, staff veterinarian, Dr. Erica Lapanovich, and our vet tech, Lisa. Um, we are going to be getting an inside look at a physical with one of our um, animals that we, our animal residents we have here. So it looks like we have people who have joined us. It looks like they can hopefully hear us and see us. Yay, Kaiden says he can hear us and see us. So I am going to turn it over to the ladies here. Hi, guys. Um, I'm Dr. Erica Lopanovich. It's good to see you guys today. So today we decided that we would do just a physical exam on one of our lovely little friends here. This is Flop, our bunny. He actually turns 11 on uh, May 27th. Um, so we're quite excited. He is um, one of our geriatric patients, which means he's an older gentleman, um, but he's in very good health for a geriatric um, kiddo. Um, so he's just here for an annual examination, which is going to include doing um, heart rate, uh, doing an abdominal palpation. We're going to look at his mouth. Hopefully, he'll continue to be good. Uh, we did a drive on with him earlier just to make sure everything was going to go okay and he'll continue to be good for you guys and you might actually get to see some of his teeth. Um, and then we'll do um, just a quick little nail trim. And uh, we have already taken some x-rays on him so that that way we didn't have to wait for them to process. So they'll be up and you can actually see some of the x-rays. And uh, yeah, and then I'll be able to, um, oh, and I'll show you guys how to draw blood. We won't be drawing blood, we've already done that. Um, and he was very, very good for it. Um, but I'll show you where we'll draw blood and then we will answer any questions you guys have. Cool. Do you want to talk a little bit about why we do an annual exam on all of our animals or do we do animal annual exams? Yes, we do. Everybody gets looked at at least once a year. Um, whether it's a full physical exam as far as for hands-on, touching, um, full abdominal palpations, things like that, or just um, some rough visuals or even just heart rates from what we can get. Um, we will also um, do blood work, which includes a CBC and a chemistry. Sometimes we'll do titers for certain tests. And then we will also do, um, or for, excuse me, for certain diseases, we will also um, check teeth. If there are any dental issues, we will try to um, clean teeth. If we need to extract teeth at that time, we will do that. And then vaccinations. Um, our bunnies do not receive any vaccinations. Um, that's not something that's routinely done here in the United States as far as for vaccines. Um, Mr. Flop here has been with us for quite some time, to the better of my knowledge. Um, and um, he is in very good health. He is an older guy. So most bunnies live between 8 to 10 years of age. And he is turning 11 in, in a couple of weeks, in a week. Um, so. He's definitely an older gentleman. We are seeing some slowing down of him. But he's still eating well and is very active. And he lives in our domestics barn. So when we uh, open back up, I'm sure many of you will be happy to come and visit um, Flop in his very large stall. And he does come out for programs. The first thing that um, Lisa and I are definitely going to do anytime you try to really examine and jacket because bunnies are wonderful but they love to shed and their tiny little bitty hairs get into anything and everything and before you know it you're sneezing and I'm not allergic to bunnies but their bunny the hair tends to float and it just gets into everything so we, we put on a jacket so that the hair has something to stick to and the first thing that we're going to do is just kind of get our hands and just kind of get a sense of his body condition Bunnies can be um, sometimes difficult to body score because they tend to be fairly lean back in here. They hold a lot of their um, fat content inside their, um, inside their chest and inside their belly. And so most bunnies are not nearly as amenable as up here, but some of them are. And we just kind of do a gentle little palpation. I'm just kind of pressing on his belly right now. Just kind of...
is the um, fermentation occurs for bunnies um, and a lot of their nutrients. And I'm also going to be palpating his kidneys and checking that his kidneys are in good shape, good size, all of that feels really good. Um, and then you're obviously you're going to try to go a little lower and palpate on his bladder. Um, he is neutered, so we don't need to worry about um, any other further palpations as far as for prostates or anything like that. And Mr. Flop is lean but in very good body condition. He eats primarily a diet of hay. He's given hay at all times. And then he's given a small amount of pellets in the morning, a small amount of pellets at night. And then he is given um, nice choice leafy greens. So I'm just going to be listening to his heart checking for any murmurs um, or abnormal heart sounds. We're listening to the lub dub lub dub and it's very fast. It's probably uh, right around 200 to 250 beats per minute which is very very fast. Think of almost like a freight train coming down the line. And we listen Next, what I like to do is I kind of start at the, the front of the nose and we look at the mouth, we'll look in the eyes, we're going to look in the ears, and then I'll just kind of follow my way down looking at his skin and everything like that. And then uh, last but not least, then we'll do looking at his feet um, and looking at his urogenital area. So, all right, be so here. So first we kind of start, we look at the nose, make sure everything's nice and clear, there's no nasal discharge, nice and dry. He has had some water this morning. And then we kind of look at his teeth, he's a very good boy, so we're looking at his teeth. Does anybody know how many he has? So it looks like they have two upper incisors and two lower incisors, but they actually have an extra set of teeth behind these upper incisors called peg teeth. Bunnies have about 28 teeth in total. They do not have any canines. And they had six teeth on the upper side on one side and five on the lower. So then we palpate right along the bottom of the jaw, checking for any um, or contour differences. I'm palpating along the sides of his face, making sure everything's nice. No signs of lumps, bumps, or any And then we will pull out our ophthalmoscope, and you can see here's the light. And I'll look through this little bitty hole here. And you're going to hold it right up to your face. A lot of people want to hold it away from their faces, but you're actually going to hold it right up to your face. And you're going to look down and into his eyes. Bunnies can have abscesses and abnormalities and even growths in their eyes, so you always want to check the back of their eyes and even the irises and things like that. He looks really good. And then we look at the other eye. So maybe that, this will kind of help you guys to see, really see. So like I said, Flop is turning 11 this month. So he does have a little bit of some age changes to his lenses. Um, what some people will call early cataracts, but they're really not cataracts. They're just some lens changes that are consistent with an elderly gentleman. And then we'll also look in the ears. And I'll show you guys this. This is an otoscope. And this is what we will use to look in the ears. And so you can kind of see down into there. This has got a little magnification on the back of it so it makes it easier. And Mr. Flop, we're going to try to look in his mouth a little bit. So I don't know if anybody's going to be able to look, but he's a very good boy. Gently slide this into the corner of his mouth, and then you can kind of see. Let me see if I can get I see his tongue right now. There is some of his teeth. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, not really. That's okay. okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> So, I've looked at both sides of his teeth. They look really, really good, especially for an older boy. But he's had a very good diet here at um, Buttonwood Park Zoo. And 
because he's been on the correct diet, he really doesn't have any teeth abnormalities, which is great. We'll also look in his ears. Now, he's a flop, as you can tell. Um, so their ear canals do tend to be a little bit collapsed, but this is kind of the bottom of the ear. You can kind of see in there. I've already looked in his ears and they look fine. And then you'll just kind of check for any abnormalities along the, the ear. Some of them will get little calluses here, because especially if they're floppy like that because they lay on the ground. You just kind of pick the margins, make sure there's no hair loss or anything like that. And then you'll continue to kind of follow it along, checking for any muscle abnormalities or anything like that. He does have a small little skin cyst here, right here that we found. And it's very, very small. Let's see if I can get through it to the hair, <laughs> to the skin. There it is. And it's tiny, little bitty white little cyst. There it is, right there. You can see it, right there. Tiny, tiny, tiny. And they can get little, basically little zits, um, little bitty abscesses, um, and that will pop of its own volition. I don't need to assist it in any way. Um, and then I'm just gonna palpate along the bottom of them. They can get mammary cancers, especially females, can get mammary cancers, so we're just checking to make sure there's no abnormalities there. And as you can see, there's already a nice accumulation of hair here. <clears throat> We can kind of wipe that off a little bit. All right, and then we're checking our hips, making sure everything feels really good back here. And all right, Mr. Flop, it's that time for us to kind of take a look at your tootsies and your and your belly. <laughs> so some of these guys, especially as they get a little bit older. We'll have some issues cleaning themselves and Flop is having a little bit of some issues cleaning himself back here. And that's because he's got some arthritis starting to occur in his back. Um, we are getting ready to start him on um, some um, uh, supplements to kind of help him with some pain control and that will help him to be able to clean himself a little bit better and to move around a little bit better. You look at the neck. Make sure they're nice and and not too long and his are nice and short which is great you can actually see let's see if I can find one you can actually see the quick in this one so you can see that pink tissue right there that's the quick so you can see the tip of the nail is just right there so they're they're a nice length they don't really need to be trimmed oh I know I'm sorry okay we're all done we'll put you down okay but if you wanted to take a temperature you will take a temperature right here and we'll go ahead and do that It's lubricated. Most animals, unfortunately, will not open their mouths and put it willingly under their tongue, so we do have to take it by other means. I know, I'm sorry. I wouldn't say he likes this, but he's being a very good boy. All right, and our temperature is nice and normal. Okay. All right, we can put him down. I know, I'm sorry. All done. Thank you. Good boy. You're a very good boy. Now we've already taken x-rays of him. Um, and if you guys would like to come and see his x-rays, we can pull those up. Here's Mr. Flop's x-ray. So I can see um, everything looks quite good along his back, but we can see there is some early evidence of some arthritis down here. Um, his kidneys sit right about here. Okay, and This is that cecum or the hind gut, which is his, his what you would call his back stomach. Here is the front stomach. Here is the liver. Okay, And um, our heart sits right about here. And here's our trachea. the other one so we start up here he does have a little little nodule right here that we're going to be kind of monitoring for right now here's his heart sitting right here you might need to use your finger because we can't see the oh M. you can't see that yeah. 
Um, so his head is up here, and he's laying on his back in one of our soft tab. He was very, very good for this. He's a little crooked here, um, but that's okay. You can still see what I what we need to see. So here is his chest right here. His heart sits right here. He's got a little nodule right here that wasn't there last year, so we're going to be kind of keeping an eye on that. Here's his diaphragm. Here's his liver right here. Our stomach is sitting right here. And then I'll pull this down a little bit. Here we go. All of these are intestinal loops and our cecum is sitting right here. Uh, excuse me, right here. Um, and then our kidneys, here is one of the kidneys you can see right here. The other one, you can just kind of see it right there. And then when you look here, you can see he's starting to get a little bit of some arthritis right here around um, around here. So, overall, Mr. Flop's doing quite well. We are going to give him, um, start him on an injection of what's called Aquin, um, which is um, kind of like lubing his joints. It does help with some arthritis. So we'll just go ahead and, and give him that. His blood work is, um, we're still running it right now, so we just got it a little while ago. Now, if we wanted to, uh, I will show you a slight little demonstration of where we would draw blood. Um, on bunnies, you can do it from a couple of different places, but um, for Flop, he's really, really good for his back leg. So, I'm just kind of, I know, I know. You're almost done, baby. You're being so good. We just kind of wet the hair with some alcohol. I don't generally shave bunnies because their skin is so thin. I've had their skin actually tear from the clippers. So we just kind of start from there and you can actually see there's a blood vessel right there. It's a light blue color. There's a couple of choices in here. And there's another one. Oh, I know, I know. And there's another one that runs over here. But um, I know, I know. You're being such a good boy. We're almost done. So you can see there's a blood vessel running right there, and there's another one running right there. And those are the ones that we did. And then that's it. You're all done. <laughs> He'll get extra cheats from his keepers today. Yes, he will. He's been so excellent. He's just one of the bestest boys ever. So um, for someone who just joined, maybe you could just repeat um, what we're doing with Flop today to appease their con potential concerns for him. Oh, okay. So uh, Flop is just here just because um, it's, it's that time of year for his uh, annual physical exam. He's had an exam from nose to rear end um, as far as for, for touching and handling, checking for any skin abnormalities. Um, and uh, we are checking for his joints, we're checking his overall body condition, we're checking his organs, we've listened to his heart and his lungs, we've looked at his teeth because that's one of the number one problems with bunnies is their teeth. And um, we've already taken x-rays on him and we've already drawn blood on him, but we showed a demo of where we would draw blood if we were going to. That's pretty much it. Yeah, so um, I want to thank Dr. Erica. She is our staff veterinarian, so a lot of people don't realize um, at our zoo we do have full-time vet staff. We have um, Dr. Erica and her vet tech here, Lisa who do annual exams, but also handle any other issues that come up. She did do a really nice tour of the vet clinic a few weeks ago that you can watch um, on the back of our page here or on our YouTube channel. Um, so thank you for letting us get an up-close look at what an annual exam looks like. Flop, I know it's not easy being on camera for these very personal things, so thank you for letting us um, take a sneak peek. Um, thank you guys for joining us. We had said in our Nature Connection activity for today, this is an awesome activity to do at home with your stuffed animals so you can watch this and then pretend to be a zoo vet and give your own animals at home a little checkup. Um, well, by animals, I mean your stuffed animals, a little checkup. So hopefully you guys can have some fun with that today and we will see you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Thank you, Erica and Lisa. Thank you guys.